a great weekend of sport for me a treble of victories Ireland in the rugby Armagh in the Gaelic football and Manchester United in the football if Carsbury did weekends well this will be one of those let's get right into Division 1 Derry and Tyrone Derry's return to Division 1 with two wins from two beating Kerry and Tyrone says it all about where they're at and that they fully expected to win both says even more one of Derry's biggest pluses in the last two games has been Niall Lachlan. There's few harder working forwards in Ireland, but his use of the ball and his energy and drive and possession had on a different level the last few games. Both he and Cormac Murphy could give a man of the match performance on his first start in the Alliance National Football League, punched holes in the Tyrone defence with a fast and strong running game. Surprisingly, the game lacked any real intensity, and while Tyrone were in a good position at half time, their shot selection and decision making was poor in the second half. A better second half from Derry into the wind saw them ease their way to win convincingly, but Tyrone were so poor after the break that they undoubtedly contributed to their own demise. As Pat Spillan famously said, men against boys, and that rang through for both the players and the management from Derry as the line outthought the Tyrone line and had their number at every juncture in the game. Tyrone got so much wrong in this game, it had to be a hard watch for any Arden supporter. Doohan and Logan will welcome the break as a chance to regroup and hopefully get a few more players back, and could be a good bet to come back strong when they welcome an out of sorts goalie side to Healy Park on the 18th of February. Connor Glass is purring at the moment. He's just churning out class performances. And I have another video of him with a superb goal which sealed this victory on my short section on the YouTube channel. Monaghan. David Clifford returned with a goal and a point as Kerry picked up their first league win in 2024 with a 3.15 to 12 that's 24 points to 15 victory over Monaghan in Clonus. Footballer of the Year Clifford scored a fine individual goal late on as Kerry outscored their opponents 2-6 to 7 in the second half. In truth, Monaghan struggled to get close to the 22 All-Ireland champions, with Jack O'Connor juggling his pack as the men in green and gold secured the win and took the two points despite the best efforts of Vinnie Corey's side. Division 1 sees Dublin alone on zero points heading into the break week, and the game against the Royals at Croker on Saturday the 17th of February February has taken on enormous significance. Indeed, Roscommon, Galway, Dublin and Monaghan are probably the ones we're looking at at the moment who may be in trouble. Tyrone, I feel, will have players coming back to see them through to the end and Kerry, Derry and Mayo look to be the three teams who are going to be vying for the divisional honours in Division 1 by the end of the session. Four Ulster County sit proudly at top division two. Arma two played four points. Donegal two played four points. Armagh two played three points. And Calvin have two points from their two games. Surprise bottom uh, feeders are Kildare and Cork, both on zero points, with Louth and Me coming in on two points and one point respectively after the weekend's results. Arma 216, that's 22 points to Meath's not 10. Arma top division 2. I'm not a second of the footage of the match but against Meath was on the Sunday game. A total lack of respect for Ulster Counties is once again evident. Last week's not 12 to not 11 win over Louth was a bit close for comfort for Arma, but after their first goal, the hosts were in the driving seat for the remainder of this Saturday evening's game against Meath. A surge of 1-3 without reply had Armagh ahead by 6 at the break. And that said, Meath had contained Armagh, who didn't score for the first 12 minutes. And this will be more of a focus for Kieran McKinney, as long no scoring spells could prove fatal against higher quali quality opposition than the Royals provided at the box of the Athletic Grounds on Saturday night. Connor Turbot once again carried a lot of the scoring load with five points from freeze before the key score of the half came in 33 minutes. Oshin Connery drove through the heart of the Mead defence before supplying a pass inside for Kane McConville, who almost took the roof off the net from close range. The turning out player, Connery inspired Armagh, who swamped the very poor Mead side 216 to 10. 
The pull-down man hit two great scores. I was involved in many assists and set up that Keane O'Connell made a major for his side's first score. Me struck 13 wides over the course of the game and are already killers for the drop of light alongside Kildare and Cork. First clash of double A Ulster rivals took place in this division when Calvin met up with Dunny Gall with Max Willie men travelling down to Breffany. Calvin lost out with an hours of margins, not 12 and not 13. Jimmy still keeps winning matches as Donegal maintained their 100% start with an edgy win over Calvin who hauled themselves back from a 5 point deficit to loss by just a point. Jim McGuinness' Donegal side were pushed all the way by Calvin but they did just enough to squeeze past their Ulster rivals and join Armagh at the top of the Division 2 table. Donegal who played their Division 1 football last year were the pre-match favourites to overcome a Calvin side who played in the third tier last season. And although they didn't reach the same levels as they did in their win over Cork last week, all that will matter for beginners is, of course, the win. Raymond Galligan said he could never really done it all in, and they eventually ran out of time in their efforts for a comeback. But he can be proud of his Chargers efforts, particularly in the second half, and this type of performance should bode well in helping them maintain their Division 2 status. Fermanagh 2-10, Kildare not 12 Sean Cassidy's second half goal secured a deserved four point victory for Fermanagh over Kildare following their 1 9 to 2 12 draw with Meath and Navan last weekend. It's a measure of how far Fermanagh had came that they felt disappointed to only have come away with a point last weekend. Lily White's goalkeeper Mark Donnell dropped the ball at his own net in the first period to give the Erin County a goal, and the home side led 1 7 to 0 4 at the break. Kildare had threatened to come back at times in the second half, eating into Fermanagh's lead, but the Ulster outfit always had their guess at arm's length. Eight different players got their name on the score sheet for Kieran Donnelly's team, including four defenders, with Shea Cullen, Lee Cullen, Declan McCusker, and Josh Dardo Ellison all on target for the Iron Men. Division 3 and Antrim are privy to be the surprise package and their supporters have to be pinching themselves if they make it 2 from 2 with a narrow 1 point win over Offaly and they sit joint top with Down and Westmeath. Antrim 2 5, that's 11 points, Offaly 1 7, that's 10 points. Antrim held on by their fingernails to claim this tense 1 point victory over Offaly at Corrigan Park. The home side seemed to be in cruise control after the first half goals from Moran Boyle and Dominic McAnally County, and they pushed their lead out to 2-5 to 1-2 early in the second half, with Offaly's goal coming through Anton Sunderland. However, from the 46th minute onwards, they never scored again and had to hold out as Offaly chipped away at their lead. Anthony McIntyre's side were reduced to 14 men when substitute Connor Hahn was shown a straight red card and as Offaly scored 5 points in succession, Antrim were under serious pressure of throwing away their lead and stoppage time. They will welcome the Moon men to Corrigan Park in a fortnight. Down 3-16, that's 25 points, Limerick not 9. At Park Esther, a golden 20 minute first half spell heralded 2-6 without reply for Down. Odron Murdoch firing two penalties into the top left hand corner of the net, either side of a Daniel Guinness strike. They eased their way to a comfortable 16 point win over Limerick in a one sided contest at Park Astor. It's going to be an interesting tussle when the two Ulster table toppers go head to head in Belfast in a fortnight's time. And by the end of that fortnight, we could have our first managerial casualty of the season. As Division 4 at least, currently under the management of Justin McNulty from RMA, could lose their manager. He's at the centre of a political and sporting storm after he had the party whip removed from him for leaving the newly formed Northern Ireland Assembly during his first sitting in over two years to attend Saturday night's county match. At the minute, there seems to be deadlock between McNulty and the SDLP regarding his position.